It has now been one week since the deadly school shooting at Marysville Pilchuck High School. And today, students gathered to remember the classmates they lost. As many people ask, what can we do to stop school shootings in America? And what has become a pattern of teenage boys taking their personal frustrations out on innocent victims? Best-selling author Dr. Greg Jantz is calling for a national debate on young men resorting to gun violence in schools. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we're talking about this. And I want to ask yeah. you about the disconnect and what is going on right. with the young men in our schools and why are they acting out like well, this? Well, Matt, one of the things that's happening is our schools are still designed predominantly for the female brain. And so we got more boys failing in school. You've seen the statistics. They're actually alarming. If we look at uh, how many kids um, uh, young men are put on uh, drugs for uh, attention issues, for example, we've got issues with uh, discipline. Let's go into some yes. of these numbers because we have these numbers on the screen and 77% of all expulsions in school involve boys. 80% yes. of all disciplinary referrals involve boys. 70% of D's and F's in school are given to boys. You say it's actually much the number higher is going now. higher, yes. So why are boys more likely to struggle in school? So they're not doing well in school. The system's not generally set up to help them succeed in school. Mm -hmm. And we're finding the, in, the uh, technology. One of the things that's happening is the earlier exposure to pornography. We're seeing kids earlier involved in drugs. This whole issue of, of pot and what it's doing with our youth. So we're finding more behaviors that are self-destructive when a boy is not succeeding. And it's not just in the classroom. No. I, you, you presented some other numbers. Let's put these up on the screen. 80% of diagnosed yeah. behavioral disorders involve boys. 81% yes. of suicides ages 10 to 19, boys. 89% of jailed kids ages 15 to 17 are boys. So are boys more likely to be caught in this downward spiral or are we less likely to help boys than we would help girls. Well, we are less likely to help the boys. We're Why seeing, is that? Well, we're seeing more boys who are depressed, and we need to remember that a boy is going to deal with issues usually through aggression. Mm. So a boy is going to see different solutions than typically than a female. Now, I'm making some general statements here, but the boy is going to mostly turn to aggression and violence to try to solve issues. So you're now calling for what you said was a national well, debate. Yes. Let's local, uh, open up the conversation, but where do you begin? Okay. Where do you start with a problem yeah. that is this vast? Matt, we have a national crisis here. And depending on how we look at the statistics, just for school shootings, it, it's you know out of right. control. We don't want to be the, the <laughs> yeah. country that is known here, for school shootings. Here we are. But so, yeah, that's where we find yeah. ourselves. So one of the things that we're doing is we've got to look at, okay, how do we recognize a boy who's in trouble? Mm -hmm. How do we begin then to help him? So often we'll say things like, well, you know, it's just a normal teenager who he's going, but we need to look at when's the line crossed and this young man is in trouble. So we're going to open this up. We're going to be providing some uh, free seminars to parents and teachers so that we can reach in and help them identify the problem before it turns into a crisis. You know, obviously this is complex. Otherwise, we would have yes. solved it. We were just talking about what has changed because when you were growing up, right. this didn't happen no. in school. When I was growing up, it didn't happen in school. And restrictions on right. guns have only gotten greater over the years. So what has changed? Our video games are more violent. We know that. Yes. Kids have uh, access to some really disturbing images on the internet, but we can't restrict those things. It's hard to go back. So what do we do? Well, we need to monitor what our kids are doing. Yeah. There's a lot of bully behavior that's going on through technology. We know that the bully behavior and a young man that feels that he has no option and he begins to seek revenge is a real danger sign. So you've got to be involved in your kids and technology. Too often we ignore it because we don't understand it. Right. I'm glad you're doing something about it. Yeah. Opening up a dialogue as you continue to do that, we will continue to cover you it. You got it. All right. Thanks for your work. Thank Dr. you. Dr. Greg Jantz.